On this episode of In The Studio, I show you how to make your drums huge using bus glue. All right, welcome back to another episode of In The Studio. I'm your host, Fluff, and this week we are going to once again focus on drums, but we're gonna focus on the overall package. We're gonna focus on the drum bus. Now, we are still on the cheapest overdrive on Amazon track, and I was messing around with the drum bus, not the snare this time, and we're not doing bus tracks or anything like that. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I really pumped up the drums. Now I'm gonna turn, I have JST uh, BG drums on, I'm gonna turn it off and we're gonna play the track and this is how it was. And this is, this is before any uh, bus compression as it were. And what we're gonna do is something uh, kind of compact all in one method using bus glue and specifically BG drums. So without the plug-in, here's how the mix sounds. Pay attention to how the drums are cutting. Okay, everything sounds big, everything's in your face, but the drums aren't big enough for me. They're kind of pokey and they could use some compression and some overall processing. So we're at the drum bus and I'm gonna turn BG drums on. Now what I ended up doing was I have, I have it on tight and I have a generous amount of compression. About 71% compression. But here's the key with BG drums, is I have this mix knob uh, that's with all the bus glue plugins. The mix knob, when I turn it down and hit it at 50%, I'm doing some parallel processing and I'm letting some of the original signal through. So instead of bussing and then coming back into the bus with some kind of a parallel compression trick, I can do it all in one right here on BG drums and here's how it sounds. I'm gonna solo the drums. I'm gonna start with BG drums off and then I'm gonna turn it on and you guys can hear how it's just getting fuller and bigger and it's really pumping it up in a really nice way. Here we go. Now that sounds huge just by itself. So now let's go into the mix and let's see what effect it has on the overall sonic picture. It's adding a real nice uh, dynamic and it's it's adding a lot of uh, compression, but it's still letting the drums breathe and they just sound generally larger. This is a really good trick for any of, uh, of your drum tracks using BG drums and backing off that mix uh, amount to 50%, maybe go a little lower or go a little higher depending on the track. But in this instance, you can get really nice punchy drums using parallel processing all in one plugin. Super awesome, super cool. I hope you can find that of some use. For more information on this and all Joey Sturgis Tones plugins, feel free to visit joeysturgistones.com.